What's going on guys? Robert Three Strong here. I want to talk about a myth. And the myth is free weights are the way to get big. And if you want to be thin and lean, then you're going to do everything else. You're going to do the TRX class. You're going to do the body weight stuff. And that is going to get you a different result. For the most part, that is true. But the key thing to remember is that it's not the implement or the tool that you're using that dictates the results. Because the tool is just something to use. The thing that is actually going to cause the greatest adaptation, the greatest change in your muscles, is the way that you challenge those muscles, regardless of the tool. So if, if I'm, let me just use this as an example. I put it on the board, I'm gonna show it to you. This is the repetition continuum where we have a maximal weight. This is one rep. Everything starts with one rep. One challenging, gut-busting rep. And then as we get stronger, we can do two reps and three reps and four reps and five reps and six reps all the way up to just thousands and thousands of reps. Um, if you can do thousands of push-ups, fantastic, good for you. But anyway, we are talking maximal strength on one end, and we have other qualities of performance as we're able to do more and more reps. You know, maybe we get some muscle mass, maybe we get a little bit of hypertrophy, some muscle bulk in this kind of 8 to 12, 15, 20 rep range, somewhere in the middle here. That's why it's very vague. And then, of course, the endurance is we can do lots of reps on the endurance end of, of the spectrum. Are these labeled barbell, body weight, TRX? No, they're not. This is just the level of intensity, the challenge that you're giving your muscles. You know, are you using a resistance? And resistance could be an external load, such as a barbell, kettlebell, dumbbell, whatever. Or are we using our own body weight as that resistance? A really good example of if we can just get a visual of what... Um, a lean muscular body looks like. Let's use a gymnast. A gym, there's some ripped muscular gymnasts, even the females, you look at them, you're like, oh my God, they have incredible legs, look at the arms and the shoulders and stuff. Do they do deadlifts? No, probably not. Are they doing back squats with a heavy barbell? No, are, are they doing bicep curls? Are they pumping iron? No. But what kind of body do they have? Well, the body of somebody that looks like they lift weights. Yeah, but they're lifting their own weight. So what the heck's going on there? What, how is it possible that they're doing body weight exercises and they're getting lean and ripped? Because they are challenging themselves on this higher end of the spectrum, especially being elite athletes, you know, they're doing some very challenging moves that require a tremendous amount of strength. Well, since they're working on this end of the spectrum, that is going to create some muscle mass. So if you want a, a, a muscular body, it doesn't matter whether you're using any sort of implement, whether you're using body weights or free weights, if you are in this end of the spectrum, the muscle doesn't know the difference. The muscle is only gonna adapt to the challenge you give it, not the tool you use to get there, okay? So when you're doing your body weight exercises, don't feel like this is only for endurance and it's only for this end of the spectrum. You can make body weight exercises more challenging and actually get a quite, quite a good pump, quite a bit of strength. You know, you can increase your muscle mass by doing body weight exercises as well as those barbell exercises. But can you also increase your endurance with just free weights? Absolutely. Lighten the weight and do more reps. It's that simple. So think about this spectrum right here the next time you are working out. And if, uh, let's use chest as an example. How difficult can you make push-ups? How hard can you make push-ups? And how does that compare to doing a heavy um, um, barbell bench press? Could, could be pretty similar. But you could get the same result strength-wise and muscular-wise with those two different tools, two different implements, two different ways to skin that cat.
Okay? Think about this and then go pick your tool and have fun. Pick that implement and just uh, see what you can do. Okay, guys? See you tomorrow.